Hey guys, Fism here, and today we're back again with Fallout New Vegas, the no hit run. In our previous time, we became besties with the Legion, helped out the NCR at Helios 1 and at Nelson, and also started off Boone's personal quest. Now, today I want to do something a bit differently, and that is to clear out the quests that are in this area, together with a few other quests lurking about here. But before we do that, I actually need to go and buy myself a weapon. So, Cliff. But since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. Alright, because these guys love me so much, I actually, they actually gave me a free room here, which is cool. Sure thing. Now, Have a look. Right, here we go. Uh, terrible service rifle. I'll buy that. And you know what? I'll also sell some of the stuff I have right now. Might as well. Alright, there we go. And the reason I bought that will become clear later. For now, what I want to do is head on over to the Sniper's Nest near the Legion camp. First up, I want to do the quest here at Camp Searchlight. Problem is, Camp Searchlight is heavily irradiated, and if we were to look at my radiation right now, it's already at 20, and at 200, that's the first milestone for getting minor radiation damage. I'd like to avoid that if I can, because there's going to be some areas for later quests, which are also going to be completely full of radiation, so the less radiation I can take right now, the better. If I were to take minor radiation damage, it probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, because that's only minus one endurance, and my endurance is something I'm not relying on at all. But during the later stages, your agility and your strength also get strained, and that's actually something I'd like to avoid. So for now, I'm just going to wear the spacesuit, because it actually gives you plus 40 radiation resistance, which, which I think is the best you can get. And you don't need to put on the helmet, that actually doesn't do anything. So I can keep on my first recon beret. Now, admittedly, this does look a bit silly, but hey, it works. So that's plus 40. And what I can also do is, the moment I get in contact with radiation, is pop some rad X, because that gives you plus 50 radi rad resistance. And I believe 85 is when it caps, so that's the best I can pretty much do. Now, you can see the radiation signs over there. I'm going to try and stay away from those, because that's a good indication of when the border is, when you're getting irradiated. So let's try and avoid that if we can. Also, up there in the distance, as you can see, there's a glowing trooper ghoul right over there. Let's see if we can take him out. There we go. Oh, caution, however, there's, means there's one more. Yeah, I'm not going into level up screen yet, because there's apparently an enemy nearby. Oh, never mind. Okay. Now, let's see. Lockpick, I'll get up to 55, because then with one uh, skill book, I can get it up to 75 temporarily, which means I can take on hard lockpicks. Guns can go up in the right direction. Now, energy weapons, sooner or later, will have to go up as well. This is more of a very late game thing, but it's still good to have up. And besides that, right now, put one point in the science, a nice and round number. Perk is obviously going to be finesse. With finesse perk, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit. Equivalent to 5 extra points of luck. Basically what this is saying is you have plus 5% critical hit chance. Because every point of luck adds another percentage. So I'm still constantly in caution, but the compass doesn't indicate there's anyone nearby. Which is a bit worrying. Also the green filter is coming up. Another sign right over there. Now let's see if I can see any enemies here. Yeah, okay, over there I see one, I think. That's actually an important one, but we'll get to him when the time comes. For now, I'm just gonna walk over here. Now on the other side of Camp Searchlight, still well away from the radiation, luckily. We have a squad right here. Hello. Hang on there, Traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's irradiated to high hell. Uh, if it's filled with radiation, why are you still here? I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. Right, and if I ask if there's any other survivors? None that aren't feral ghouls. Those poor bastards. I can't imagine how they must be suffering. I'd like to put them out of their misery, but I don't have the heart to do it. Can you do me a favor? I want you to put down the troopers that changed, turned into ghouls. Sure, I can do that. Thank you. 
Could you bring me their dog tags? Some of the troopers should still be wearing them. I'll give you some caps for each one you bring back to me. There's an old rifle in it for you if you can bring me at least ten. Oh, and take these radiation supplies. You'll need them. So that's one of the quests you can give me. Dog tags. It's we will all go together. Better get and you can also say, a fire legion camp at Cottonwood Cove. The rangers at Echo have been keeping an eye on that place. It's relatively new, but those bastards have already dug in. They appear to be running a slave trading operation. And it also seems to be one of the primary crossing points for legion raiding parties. Is there anything you need done? If you could scout out the camp, bring back any intel on troop movement or plans for future raids. The rangers could put that information to good use. Also, if you're any good at covert ops, I would love to get a bug planted on their radio. So far, we've been unable to crack their encryption. Sure thing. Good to hear. This is the bug you'll need for the radio. Report back if you pick up any intel, or manage to sneak the bug into their radio. That's a fairly easy one to do, as long as you're not half down with the Legion yet. And also adds the quest Eye for an Eye. Now, first things first, I want to start off with the quest in where I help these guys collect the NCR dog tags because it doesn't actually show you where uh, where the ghoul troopers are or anything like that you have to find that for yourself the glowing ghoul troopers or whatever that I took out earlier aren't the ones you're supposed to kill for this quest those are just random enemies the ones you're supposed to kill look a bit different yeah if you can get close enough you can see that these guys look a bit different they're actually regular ghouls But they are still half that however, they've gone fully feral. And if I took them out with Paciencia, what would happen is they'd, you know, obviously die very quickly, but I'd have to run into, into the irradiated area to actually pick up their dog tags. That's why I'm going over to a much worse weapon. Because if I shoot them now... There we go, I'll go into caution. Come on now. Now, my goal here isn't actually to kill this guy, I want him to spot me in fact. Which means I probably shouldn't be sneaking now that I think about it. Come on. There we go, he's walking towards me. Okay, there we go. Now they've actually seen me, that's good, that's exactly what I want. I know this might seem very, like, risky for a uh, no-hit run. But these guys are actually fairly slow. So I'm not too worried here. I'm just gonna do... Just wait. There they are. Oh, that's not actually one of them. Damn it. I know where this guy came from, but it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, that was way too close. Let's not do that again. Also, I should probably step away from the corpse. Okay. There you are. As you can see, normal... Cool and all that, but he looks much worse. It's still hostile. There we go. Managed to take him out with a quick critical. Back to hidden. And now I'm no longer in the irradiated area, and I can just pick this up nice and easy. Knowingly, the glowing one did actually give me some radiation, but it's a 23 now, which isn't the worst thing in the world. If I'd had to walk all the way over there into the irradiated area, I would have gotten much more than that. So I'm glad I did it this way. Plus, there's another one right over there. Also, some guys in Legion armor. Yeah, that's weird, I've never actually seen that before. I'm not sure how visible this will be for you guys, but up ahead there's actually... No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's just this Legionary recruit walking over here, okay. Interesting. Let's see if I just shoot him. Come on. There we go, he's running towards me. Well, like I said, none of these guys have ranged weapons, so I should be fine in that aspect. Yeah, that's right. Okay, he's pretty much seen me at this point. Again, paciencia. Okay, just wait, just wait, just wait. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna move back a little bit.
Whenever you're ready, pal. Okay. Critical strike. That's the end of him. No longer in danger. Another one. Nice and easy. Now, this isn't the foolproof method or anything. Uh, after a certain point, I will have to get into that place no matter what. But it's still nice to see that it kind of works. Okay, there's two more right over there. So, same deal as before. Caution. Come on, see if I can get into danger. I feel he's running towards me. Come on. How close until I get into radiation here? I can still stand on this rock apparently, which is good. However... There we go. Okay. He should spot me any moment now. There we go. Okay. Yep, danger. Okay, now run along. There we go. Okay, that's more than enough. Paciencia. There we go. Apparently I got a thousand XP for that. Master of the Arsenal. Do, oh, right. Do damage with uh, Gunrunner's Arsenal weapons, which Paciencia is one of. So that's good. Okay, another one right over there. Same exact deal. Yeah, of course, seeing as I'm not allowing myself to heal any radiation damage, it's vital that I come up with strategies like this. And avoid any and all radiation that I can. Okay, I'm gonna kind of risk it here by seeing how close I can get before radiation damage ticks in. Okay. There we go. Come on, you have to spot me now. Oh, for God's sake, I even shot you. Come on. Oop, crippled him in the head, which is not what I meant to do, but hey. There we go. Okay, I'm even standing up at this point, so he's got to spot me, right? Caution. There we go. Okay, music kicks in. Back to Paciencia. Come on, dude, where you at? There you are. That's right, run your way over to me. Oh, not too close, though. There we go. Whew. Yeah, finesse really helps. I no, don't have line of sight on any more of them. Not from here. Let's go around again and see how many we can find otherwise. Next up, I gotta get to this side of town right here. Because this area is fairly safe. I can actually walk quite far up to the town from here. From this side of the chapel. And there's at least two ghouls here from what I know. So let's go and get them. Now I know up to this rock or thereabouts is safe. There we go. Just shoot him. There you go. There we go, crippled his leg at least. Okay, cri crippled both their legs, that's good. They're still walking towards me though. Okay, just take him out. Critical strike, beautiful. Next up you, let's not take any chances. Crap. But yet another critical strike, yeah. The right perks, this weapon becomes, becomes an absolute beast, which I love. So two more, we're at six now. Now let's walk around over to the other side and see what we can find there. So some people have asked if uh, there, if you can put like mods, like a scope on Paciencia. Unfortunately with special weapons like this, like unique weapons, you can't ever put a mod on them as far as I know. 
which means eventually later on in the game I will have to replace Paciencia, but that won't be until a long, long while. Also, is that? No, okay, it's just the same. Ooh, there's one ghoul over there, no? Yeah, as you can see, these look a bit different than the other ghouls. These are actually like way more further ahead in, in being feral. We can just take these out from a distance, hopefully. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's see. Okay, over there, I believe I see another ghoul trooper next to a glowing one. There's one of them glowing, and like the quest ones aren't glowing at all. So let's see if I can take him out first. Okay, perfect. That's him taken out. Okay, it says caution. That works for me, because I actually need to be in caution, obviously. I just hope it's you know, from that guy seeing me, not someone else. Would you believe these things are a bit inaccurate? Yeah, unfortunately I'm too far away for that guy. That's fine. It means I just have to walk around it. Alright, so we're at 6. I'll wait until daytime just so I can get a better view of where these guys might potentially be. Okay, there we are. I see another one right over there, actually. He's very much into Rad's territory, but that's fine. Maybe I can still take him on regardless. If I just do this a bit of a smart way. Hoping I'd hit him. Oh. Come on now. There you are. Yeah, it's hard to see them, honestly. Wait, I think I might have a better idea for this. I'm just gonna go back to Novak real quick. Alright, you can sell all those combat knives. And the service rifle as well. I won't be using that one anymore. Alright, bought myself an, a good varmint rifle together with some extra ammo. Okay, so it's still day, meaning he should still be able to see me just fine. As long as I play this smart. Because this thing has a good amount of stuff on it, but it doesn't have a silencer or anything, which is exactly what I want. There we are, I think I see one of them. There we go, shot him. He's actually making his way over to me now. Caution. That's right, walk over to me. And I apparently crippled his left arm. Perfect, this is exactly what I wanted, because now he's going to run his way over to me. Oh crap, he lost sight of me apparently. Oh damn it. Come back here. Where the hell did you run off to? There you are. No, just wait. Come back. There we are. Come on. Now just get over to me. Yeah, that's right. Caution. Already quite wounded, actually. Oh, there you are. <laughs> well, I'm glad I accidentally pressed VATS, otherwise I would have been screwed. That's right, okay. I'm actually on the very edge here, so if I could just lure him a bit further over the, this way. Ah, that should be good enough. Not take any chances. Still in caution. That's fine. I know where one is, but I'll actually have to enter an everyday area for that. No way around it. But the other ones... Not necessarily the case. Now these guys usually come in pairs of two. So if I can fight the other guy, that'd be great. Okay, I think I really do need to get like a little bit closer. So at this point, Radix. Let's walk up here. Anyone? I don't think it's actually loaded in yet, like the enemies and all that, even though they might be there. So we'll just walk in a bit further. Yeah, see, there we are. Come on. That's right, walk over to me. Okay, I'm taking rats here, but that's fine. There we go. He's walking over to me. 
Oh, come on. Don't be in caution. I need to be in danger. Just see me. Just see me. Just see me. There we go. Danger. I just run back, run back, run back, run back. Come on. There we go. No longer in danger. Now get Paciencia out. How many rats did I take there? Only five. That's good enough, I suppose. Paciencia. There you are. Okay, now just... This should be close enough. Ooh, okay, I'm taking rats here, so step away again. There we go. Okay, at this point, there's only two left. I know where the remaining two are. Problem is, I'm gonna have to get into rats anyway for this part. The next one is gonna be fairly simple. As long as I play it safe. 28 rats right now. I'm wondering how much I'll have by the end of this. So I'm just gonna walk over all the way over to here. Here, now one of these houses is an interior I can enter. It's very important I go in there. Okay, so I took, I'm took i taking rats right now, but that's fine. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, run, 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 run. Don't stop running. Don't stop running. Come on. Some rat scorpions here. That's fine. Oh, come on. Screw you. Uh oh, okay. Next up, you. Go. Take that from you. It should be all the enemies in this area. Now immediately go into here. So that's number nine. And number ten is right here. What the hell are you doing in this cursed place? You know what? Forget it. It doesn't matter. Welcome to Camp Searchlight. The shittiest place on earth. So this guy isn't feral. And what you can do is... You go to uh, Sergeant Aster and talk him and tell him there's like a non-feral guy, but ghouls aren't like super accepted in the NCR. So there's a special place you can go to. And you can like send him to. An, you can tell him there's like an outpost he can go to. You can use a speech check to tell him to go out on his own and he'll be fine. You can also tell him what it'll take to get him out of here, and he'll say there's like a few rat scorpions outside you need to take out. But I obviously don't want to do that because that just means I'm gonna have to stay in the rats for longer. So I'm just gonna say I see you're wearing an NCR dog tank. Yeah. Also, for those not knowing how this engine works, um, seeing as I'm in conversation right now, it means like the entire game is paused, which means I'm not taking any c rats during this conversation. So, can I have your dog tag? Sorry, I'm not about to give it up. It's the only thing I have left that reminds me of who I was. And just strength seven. Give me your dog tag now. Fine. Here, take it. Just leave me alone. Sure thing. Now, just to get in here. Now, can I actually fast travel out of here immediately? Yes, I can. So, I got 43 rads, but that's at least this quest line completed. I think it's like the best I can pretty much do. So, first sergeant. What can I do for you? Thank you for the help. I can rest easier knowing those poor soldiers no longer have to suffer. There we go. It also immediately levels me up. That completes the quest. We will all go together. So, 17 more skill points. Sneak up to 65. Science can go up. Lockpick can go up. And guns can go to 70. There we go. And let's immediately move on. Because there's also another quest right here in this place. And to do that quest, we're going to have to go into this chapel right here. Of course, my red X has worn off, so let's just immediately pop a new one. Just immediately go in here. Make sure to run. I'm gonna go into rads right now. Come on. Alright, so now that I'm in this basement here, I'm gonna have to act kinda fast because the rats are still ticking away. So what I'm gonna do is talk to Logan. Who the fuck are you? I could ask you the same thing. Name's Logan. What the hell do you want? I'm just passing through. You must be crazy if you're just passing through this place. They're looking for something. That's none of your damn business. Maybe I can help. Look, if you really want to help, either get the fuck out of our way or hack that damn computer over there. What are you looking for in the computer? The location of some radiation suits. 
I found an inventory list that says they should be here, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. The computer should know what happened to them. I'll check it out. Yeah, you do that. Sure thing. So just go over here immediately. There we go. And apparently the crates have been moved to Nipton. What do you just want talk to Logan. File location. I'll tell you what. Bring us those suits and you can come with us while we loot the town. You can keep a share. I better get a bigger share for this. Alright, fine. But you gotta bring us those suits first. Sure thing, I'll be back. Just go already. Hey there. So I'm just gonna go through here. That adds the quest Wheel of Fortune. And the suits are apparently close by to Nipton. So apparently I'm in danger. Not sure from what actually. Probably the scorpions though. Yeah, would you believe it's just a Brock Scorpion? That's fine. Taking care of you. Now, back in the general store, we of course have box cars. You know anything about some NCR supplies? I saw some Legion assholes carrying crates to a cave north of here. May have been NCR shit. I don't fucking know. Also, I took care of the. You know what I'd be real excited about? If you'd showed up and saved me before they smashed my legs. Now, why don't you fuck off and let me sleep, hero? That'll be real exciting too. Sure thing. You know, you can actually tell him about that. But you want your dick, and I don't like you, so. Good night to you. That actually gives me karma hilariously. You know I could actually do with the extra karma, because if you look at my uh, karma right now, because of all the constant ceiling that I do, I'm apparently evil. <laughs> Which is not something I like to be, so. Wait a second. Uh-oh. Holy shit, did that thing respawn? Because I'm pretty sure I killed it, didn't I? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. There we go. Been a real problem if I hadn't seen that one. Alright, here we are. The hidden supply cave. Now I can just go in here. You need average lock for this. Yeah, so in order to actually do this quest in any way whatsoever, you need to have at least 50 in science and lockpick. Which is a pretty big ask. Anyway, we just go in here. There's one a rat suit, which I can sell. And a radiation suit package. Now, time to bring that back to those guys. Go in here immediately. And hand him the rat suit. It's about damn time. You ready to okay, so one thing I need to explain about this quest is what basically happens after this is they take the rat suits, they have to fight through the town to like a specific building, I'm not sure if it's a fire station or a police station or whatever. Once you're in there, you're going to have to find a few different items, and throughout this you're going to be constantly radiated, so it's going to tick up and up and up and up. And after that, um, they go to yet another building, fight the giant rat scorpion, and then finally, they're also telling you that you need to find another few items inside that building. And once you do that, they all turn on you and try to kill you. Now, the thing is, seeing as they're all going to kill you in the end, a way to end this quest pretty much immediately and then complete it instead of failing it is after you've given them the rat suits, just kill Logan and it, for some reason, always counts as completed. Something that also happened during my path fifth, during my absolute, like, no-kill run, where these guys headed into the town and because I obviously couldn't kill anyone, they got swarmed and Logan died and it, for some reason, completed the quest and I could just run off. So it's a bit of a cop-out, because obviously this is like a much longer quest than if I were to do it this way. But for some reason, the game counts as it's completed. I think it's because, you know, they turn on you in the end and try to kill you. So if I kill him right now, that should pretty much just complete the quest and we should be fine. Well, hurry the fuck up. Sure thing. Now, the best way to do this without turning everyone hostile is just... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's not waste any time here. Get in! There we go, now let's head out. As you can see, complete quests. And all I can do now is just uh, fast travel back to Camp Searchlight. And even though it didn't say anything, and you could see for a brief moment there, I got the XP for completing the quest. And as you can see, Widow Fortune is also completed. Alright, now with that done, it's time for Eye for an Eye. And at this point, I can actually dump the radiation suit. And in the end, we took 53 rats, which is 
Honestly, pretty much the best I could have possibly hoped for. So next up, the next quest we're after, Eye for an Eye. So let's head on over to Katalinkov. Now all I need to do here is just go into this office. And while I'm here, just open this desk. Lad's Life, I'll take that. And some Legion Patrol notes. Also a special unarmed weapon, which I totally forgot about. So just take all of that. And also just go in here. True to Kaiser. Hey there, guys. And just gotta make sure I'm not detected. There we go, hidden. Plant the bug. And off we go. And here you go. Some intel. This is more than I could have hoped for. Almost seems too good to be true, but the details are all here. You've done us a great service. Anything else you need done? Well, unless you want to go in there and clean out that camp for me. I guess this should be more than enough for now. Consider it done. What? Really? You're mad, but I like it. Report back when the camp is clear. I'll try and shuffle some men in that direction once the Legion's gone. Now I've done pretty much all the quests that I can do in that camp, so it's time to take it all out. The way I'm going to do that is quite simple, but before I do that, I'm just going to put on the spacesuit for the rad resistance and the rad X. I'm only going to be touching rads for a very short period of time, but still, like, there are still going to be quests where I'm going to take a lot of rads. So the more I can avoid now, the better. So Cottonwood Cove is right there, and there's an old truck here filled with radioactive barrels at this very edge here. So, so long as I just walk over here, open the door, now just... Run away, run away, run away. The barrels all roll down the hill. And everyone here just pretty much drops dead the moment they get touched by it. So these guys should all just drop dead at any moment now. Or weirdly enough, they actually walk over to this place and then they drop dead. So, yeah, they all like run over to one spot. And then they all just collapse weirdly. Except for like the named important characters. They'll just collapse pretty much immediately on the spot. No need to stick around now, because I've radiated the place and I'd like to avoid the radiation. So let's go back to Aster and tell him the good news. Kill everyone. What? How did you pull it off? Radiation barrels. That's exactly what we needed to put a cork in that camp. The Legion won't be moving through there anytime soon. Fitting that the camp was taken care of in a way similar to Searchlight. Thank you for taking care of that place for us. There we go, and that completes Eye for an Eye, and moves me over to level 12. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come run it. Oh, You're thanks. Alone out here. All right, next up. I'm honestly wondering, right, could I get this up to... Ah, uh, unfortunately, I can't get this to 80 just yet. Do you know what? That's fine. Get the 63 for now-ish. Specific reason for that, and we'll get there when it comes up. So you go to 25. Good with sneak for now, honestly. I don't really have to sneak around all that much yet. Silence can go up. Uh, you know what? Let's make sure this gets up to 60 at least. There we go. There are actually quite a few good ones here. Um, silence running, obviously. Very good. Sniper as well. Bloody mess, pretty much a plus 5% damage to uh, pretty much everything, which is pretty damn good too. Yeah, I'm okay with, I think I'll do by just fine without silent running for now, but that is one I should take sooner rather than later. So for now, you know what, I'll go with sniper. Alright, so that's this corner of the map, pretty much completely cleared of all quests, which is good. Meaning we can now move on. Alright, just gonna move along the road now. Thing is, there's a few more jackals behind that sign. So if I could avoid them, that'd be good. In fact, I'm just gonna move. There we are. So I already see one of them. Yeah. Good night to you. Come on, that's the Viper leader. If I could take them out immediately. Perfect. Can 
Apparently there's actually a bush in the way for me being able to see what's going on exactly. There we are. Come on. Perfect. Not sure if that's all of them though. I think it is. And here's the Eldorado gas and service. Let's see what's in here. So I believe there's actually something worth picking up here. Yep, another star bottle cap. Perfect. I knew there was a reason to come here. Also some weapons, holy shit. Okay, nice. Well, that was definitely worth it. So here's an NCR war memorial. So let's go and just do this. What the fuck are you doing? My brother died at the Battle of Hoover Dam. You're desecrating a war memorial. Oh, <laughs> is that saying you're a little bitch and your brother was too? A speech shorty. Um, <clears throat> my apologies. It was rude and disrespectful of me to do that. All right, apology accepted. Don't let it happen again. Not sure what happened there, but sure. So yeah, easy way to get 30 XP, and all you have to do is desecrate a war memorial. <laughs> and now that we're here, we might as well just head on over and check what's going on inside. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The Brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on with the great cons? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Uh, I might be able to negotiate a deal with the great cons. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack... Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the great cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. That adds the quest Boulder City Showdown. Which sounds like a tense situation because the cons and uh, the NCR don't like each other, but it's actually resolved very easily. All I really need to do is there's some NCR guys over there, the hostages are in that building, and there's a few cons in there. Now, all I'm gonna do is just go in. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. I'm a ghost here to haunt you. Alright, quit fucking around. You survived and you tracked us down. What now? Where's the platinum chip? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. Alright, well. Let's talk about selling things between you and the NCR. Now they mainly uh, finishes the quest, they went that way and adds a ring a ding ding. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Speech 45, free to free the hostages now and I'll have the NCR escort you out of their territory. I can't believe I'm doing this. But alright, the hostages can go. So that's that done. Now over here uh, is actually McMurphy, which was the other guy in the intro. The other con in the intro, he unfortunately died. However, I can just lose him, so that's good. Also, hidden, and these guys won't need ammo anymore, so that's fine. Lieutenant. I'm glad you were able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. If you have any integrity, then you'll honor the deal. You're right. The Great Cons are free to go. There we go. I've also become accepted by the Great Cons because of this, which is good. And even more NCR fame as well. That completes Boulder City Showdown. Pushing me into level 13 already, which is... Pretty damn good. I think I just like went up four levels in one part. Anyway, um, now what I want to do is actually put this up to level 80. Because now, with a skill book, I can actually get this to 100, which is exactly what I want. Because now, with that, I believe I do actually have a... Let's see. Here we are, Locksmith Reader. I actually have that, which is perfect. So let's head on over to the Sniper's Nest. I remember that gun case I couldn't access earlier. Guess what? Now I can. The locksmith reader. There we go. And now I have the Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle. Which is actually a pretty good rifle as well. I do prefer Paciencia just because of like the critical hit damage and the increased critical chance. But this thing has a scope, so it's a bit of a more ac accurate variant on Paciencia pretty much. 
So we'll definitely be alternating between one and the other. Because you can see the scope in this thing is pretty good. Even though Paciencia is also pretty good too. Plus this one's ammo capacity is also a bit larger, which will probably help in the long run. And it's also silenced. Okay, no, never mind, it's not silenced. I was wrong about that. But still, pretty good weapon all around. Worth taking. Next up, I'm back at the NCR Correctional Facility. Because there's one area that I've pretty much avoided up until now. But there's a pretty large quest that I can pretty much uh, completely skip and get to the end of it if I just follow a specific route. Because if I go from here, I end up at this place. Hidden Valley. Now, spoiler alert, this place is actually where the Brotherhood is hiding. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to actually deal with them just yet. So that's something for much, much later. Now, the reason I'm over here is because aside from a few bark scorpions, this is actually the safest path to Black Mountain. Now, quick backstory on Black Mountain. It's pretty much a radio station taken over by a super mutant, and she has like a bunch of followers, including Nightkin, who are like protecting the tower and all that. And they also have like this gold mechanic currently uh, trapped in there. I'm going to save the mechanic and uh, make sure the super mutants leave this place if I can. And the easiest way to do that by far is just go from here. Alright, so wait until 10pm, because this next part can be a bit dangerous, but I just have to be fast. Because what I'm going to do, just go from here. Now, there's a giant crater here with full blood centaurs, so I'd like to avoid that if I can. Is that what I'm going to do? Just put on my spacesuit, just to be safe. To get her with some radix. Because there are some rats that I'm probably going to run into sooner or later, so... Next up, can I just get up here, please? There we go. Yeah, this is by far the easiest way to do black to the black, to the Black Mountain quest. Because normally you have to find your way up like a mountain filled with super mutants and nightkin and all that. If you just do it this way, you can avoid it. The centaurs are fine. They have like this very very slow range attack, which also doesn't have great range, so I should be fine as long as I keep moving. Just go from here. Over to here. As quick as I can. Still in danger. That sh should fade away fairly quickly, hopefully. Also, Rotten Brahmin Corpse, apparently. But that's fine. Because we're pretty much already at the top of Blank Mountain now. Also in caution, but that's fine. Now, just for this part alone, I'm gonna pop a stealth boy, because there can be enemies here. Especially Nightkin, and there's one guy with a special rocket launcher, so I'd rather not get seen by him for obvious reasons. Yeah, you can see one of the Nightkin walking over there. That's fine, because all I need to do is just. And the guy with the special rocket launcher is up there. Just go in here. And now we've pretty much already done the quest because I can just walk up to this thing. And here's a special Mr. Handy named Rhonda. And with science, I can check the robot circuitry. Hello. Fixed it. Could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? Sure, follow me. Thank you very much. And Tabitha is the super mutant leader who is currently on the radio. So if I just go out now. There we go. Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading off. Our journey has been much delayed, but we can catch up if we hurry. Come along now. There we go. Yes, Roger. And they happily walk off together. And that completes Crazy Crazy Crazy, which is the quest that I never actually started, but here we go. So yeah, really easy way of doing that one. Also quest added apparently, but yeah, completed that one. Great. Now with them gone, I can actually just freely loot this place. Which I'm definitely going to do, because there's quite some valuable stuff in here. Like a bunch of ammo. And thanks, I can also go into this prison building. Hi there. Took you long enough, so can I go now? Ok, 
okay by me. Enjoy your freedom. There we go. And that actually frees Raul from captivity, even giving me even more camps. He doesn't really have a personal quest, but he does have an ending site that I'd like to positively influence if I can. So we'll definitely get back to him later. Much, much later, in fact. Alright, I think that's just about every single quest here in this area done. Except for the uh, Brotherhood of Steel stuff, but we'll do that later. And here we also have the 188 trading post. Hey. Now there's Veronica here, which is, who's uh, another companion. But her quest involves Brotherhood of Steel and all that, so I'm going to do that much, much later. So for now, there's really no point in talking to her. What I'm going to do though is take the Star Bottle Cap, because that's not stealing. And just keep on moving. Here we are, Lake Las Vegas, and next to it we have Camp Golf. Now this also has another quest associated with it, but it'll take a while before I can get to that one. Instead of what I want to do though, is just go through here and just do a quick miscellaneous quest. Hello. So there's another lad's life here, but that's okay. Programmer's Digest, though. I'll definitely be taking that if I can. Come on, game. There we go. Here we are. Hey. Oh, hell. What is it now? How'd you end up at Camp Golf? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. Funny, I thought this was where they sent washouts and losers. Yeah, well, somebody has to wrangle those washouts and losers. Somebody's got to turn them into a real fighting force. Sounds like you're a little disappointed in your troops. Disappointed? We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. Well, maybe I can help you whip them into shape. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. That adds a quest to flags of our foul ups. Another really easy quest you can complete by uh, just having high speech. Alright, so to just give a quick explanation. So, Patriot's Cookbook. This might actually prove pretty useful. I'll just be taking that. So these are the misfits, and they all have a different idea on how to solve their problem. You have Raz here, who just suggests we give them all Psycho. And they do become better at combat, but it doesn't end well for them, because they get addicted, and uh, I think they attack fellow NCR soldiers, and they get court-martialed. Poindexter here, who just suggests we commit fraud and change our test results into something much better. But then, of course, when the Battle of Hoover Dam happens, the Legion attacks Camp Golf, and they all get killed. So again, not the two best endings. Mags says we shall just give them combat training. And this is very much dependent on like your different skills, like guns and explosives and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think my explosives and like other skills other than guns are high enough for this. So that, that leaves Ohanrahan, who just literally says, hey, let's all just be nicer to each other. And in order to do this, you just need to complete a bunch of speech checks. So this is by far the easiest one. So, the sergeant asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. To me? Well, I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. You want niceness? That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. So you think I should find ways to convince the misfits to get along? That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am, or they ain't gonna listen. Oh, don't you worry about that. Okay. So now I have to convince each and every one of them. Glad to see you haven't gotten yourself killed yet. How'd you end up assigned to Camp Golf? Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. Sounds like you aren't too fond of your squad. Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. Speech 40? Well, maybe you should try to lead by example instead of tearing them down. You really think so? Hell, I guess it's worth a shot. There we go. That's one. Nice to point extra. These two are a bit more hostile, so. I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? Are you in charge here? In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. 
Oh, I'm sure they do. Since you're so respected, maybe you can help get this unit into shape. Hmm. You're trying to appeal to my ego. I must admit it's an effective tactic. All right, I'll help. But only because I want to see if it's even possible. There we go. What you want, Holmes? Know anything about your squad mates? We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindex was a smart-ass prick. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy, ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags, well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? That's charming. It's good to know team building is alive and well. Shit, maybe you're right. Guess I gotta give him a shot. There we go. It's easy as that. Now, I can just return to O'Hanrahan. And how's that human niceness working at? Boy, the squad sure is working together a lot better now. I think we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. There we go. That's that quest also complete. Nice and easy. I think that actually pushed me into the next level. Why, yes it did. Nice. I think speech up a bit. Science can go to 75. That lockpick is already high enough. That can go to 75. And... You know what? 67, sure. Alright, next one. Okay, the next one should without a doubt actually be Light Step. Because this just means I never have to worry about setting off floor based traps or mines. And especially in later stages of this game, there are going to be a lot of mines. So, let's take that. And for the last thing I want to do today, I'm just going to have to go south from Nelson. Because right over here we have our NCR soldier. You're the courier I've heard so much about. My squad needs your assistance. Alright, uh, why are you out here alone? My squad was ambushed by a legion party led by that bastard Alexis. He was taking us into the mine up ahead, but I managed to get away. I need help to get them out. Alright, sure, I'll take a look and see if there's anything I can do. That's already more than I was expecting. I'll keep watch to make sure no more legion come up the road. Good luck. Now, this quest can be fairly simple, because of course... The Legion is neutral with me. In fact, I think they actually like me. So, all I need to do is go through here. Uh-oh. Wait, why are the compass markers red? That isn't normal. Yeah, they're in red. Okay. Wait. Yep, okay. Not, don't, not sure why. Doesn't matter. Thank you, Paciencia. Luckily, it's only two of them. Like, that could have been very, very bad. <laughs> Thought they'd be neutral with me, but apparently not. Hope the guys inside are neutral with me, at least. Okay, strangely. Doesn't seem that way. Because they're marked in red now. Guys. Shit. Okay. Wait, no, they're green now. Just as I'm about to shoot. Not sure why. But this does make things a lot easier, luckily. Okay, damage 30, damage 26. Good. So I'm gonna kill them all with this uh, weird little dog tag weapon. So I can just do this. And just kill them the way I killed... All those NCR guys, provided they don't they don't see me. Whew, close one there. Again the Lord Death perk, great. So the frame rate here is absolutely terrible, but that's fine, whatever. Hey guys, everyone's neutral with me, luckily. Yeah, weirdly enough, the Alexis guy that the guy was talking about, he almost never spawns for me. I know this is like a frequent thing that can happen where the guy just simply doesn't spawn. But it's happened to me quite a few times. Anyway. Let's take you out. You. You. And... There we go. Hi there. Bye there. Alright, now the NCR prisoners here should have a straight run to the entrance. Hey there, guys. You can go. Hello to you. You can go too. 
Yeah, sure. Go. If I just wait one hour, pretty sure, yep, yeah, okay, they'll be safely have made it back at this point. There we go. It's all of them rescued, and now can just report back to the private, and we should be good. Your friends are safe. They must have run straight back to camp. I bet they didn't even stop and say thanks. The NCR could use someone like you. Stop by our camps if you're looking for work. There we go, and I'm actually liked with the NCR. That completes the quest anywhere I wander. Alright, so seeing as we've done uh, pretty much all the minor NCR quests, together with the Black Mountain quest, as well as everything in Camp Searchlight, I think we should call it a part here. Next time, we're going to make our way over to a major NCR camp and do a bunch of quests in that area, together with visiting a few other NCR camps, hopefully doing those quests as well, and maybe even getting to Boone's personal quest. But that's all for next time. For now, I just want to say thank you all for watching. This has been Fallout New Vegas, the No Hit Run, and I'll see you all next time.